This is the man who's never wrong here. Again, I'm trying to get this channel going. So subscribe if you'd like. Check out my other videos. Alright, I made a video earlier today. And I ain't got nothing better to do. And I just saw this. I guess this is what you could call breaking news. The Senate has passed a bill to expand background checks. Thus closing the gun hole loop hole. Gun show loophole. Now, <clears throat> there's a few things wrong with that. First of all, there's no, there's no need for it. Alright? At a gun show, it's not like you can just go in there, at least in states that um, you need a license to carry a gun, which, as ardent of a supporter of the Second Amendment as I am, and I know there's a lot of people that are like really big supporters of it too, that say we shouldn't have gun licenses, I think you should at least have that. But anyhow, <clears throat> in order to buy the gun, at least in the vast majority of states in this country, you need to have a license. In order to get that license, you have to go through a background check. And you have to not only get a license, but generally you have to renew those licenses as it is. So it's not like... And it's not even a long time, it's like uh, six years, six or seven years, something like that. So it's not like you've got like 20, 30, 40 years before you go crazy, you can go crazy and then now you're a mass murderer or something like that. So you have to have a license, you already have to have a background check for that license. So then you're going to the gun show, you're buying a gun with the license that you already had a background check for recently within six or seven years, and again, that's in most states. <sighs> these, these expanded background checks are also, going to take, are, also, are also going to take private medical information, like between you and your doctor, it's going to expand on it, it's going to put it in another government file thing, and that's pretty much what it's going to be. You know, it's just further infringement, too, on our personal rights. There's no need for it. And there's also this big sentiment against gun shows, and there's no reason for it. I mean, they make you think that it's like a bunch of evil gun dealers getting together with their evil, like, guns and assault weapons. By the way, I noticed there's one in the background here. Uh, that is an airsoft gun, so ignore that. But... Anyways, they want to think, make you think that it's a bunch of evil people. They're selling machine guns and rocket launchers. Yeah, and, and you can just walk in and you can... Uh, here's a penny here. I can give them this penny and I can get a rocket launcher and a lifetime supply of ammo. No. It's essentially like a big gun store. It's, where it's a temporary setup that only lasts like two days, if that. And it's a bunch of people, they go and they sell their A bunch of dealers, legally licensed dealers take guns from their stores and bring them there and sell them there. It is an easier way to get guns and it also, because they're in direct competition with each other, drives the prices down. They're not as cheap as they used to be, but it still drives them down. But you can't have any easy way to get a gun because that means that you're just going to do criminal things with it, even though you have to get a license to legally obtain the gun. So no doubt this is going to have a big impact. Might even completely eliminate gun shows, which would be a huge hit on the gun market and to this, this, our Second Amendment rights. Like, I'll give you an example because I'm good at doing that. And as you know, I'm never wrong about things like that. I want to buy an AK-47. If I want to get a 10-round one, I can do that because that's legal for someone under 21 in this state to do. As long as it also meets the other qualifications. But anyways, if I want to get one like that, I'd probably have to travel around every store in the state to find one. If I even could, then. The only other way, and it's also it's going to impact online gun buying too, which they also want you to think is legal, even though it's the same damn thing as going to a gun store and buying your guns there. So, you know, what am I going to... What harm is it? And there is none. So I'm going to have to try 
so hard to get this AK-47 when it's infinitely more, infinitely easier for me to just go to a gun show and buy one. But they, they want you to think that it being easy to get guns is a bad thing. But it's not. Because it's still not the criminals who are going to get them. It's all completely irrelevant. There's no difference. If a, if a criminal wants to get a gun in a state where you don't need a license or a background check or anything, <coughs> he can go to a gun store and buy a gun. He doesn't need to get it at a gun show. It's just easier for people like me who want a specific type of gun. It's just further infringement on our constitutional rights. And everyone is standing for it because they're controlled by the media. I don't know. Call your senators, let them know you won't vote for them again if they pass it. Probably won't make a difference, but, you know, at least you, your voice was heard.